JJ and Mikey want to eat a McDonald's burger, but the nearest restaurant is hundreds of miles away, so they've made us build one for them! Louis, Louis, JJ and Mikey are so hungry, they said they would destroy our houses if we don't feed them! Wait, seriously? They're going to destroy our houses if they don't get a McDonald's burger? I guess that makes sense. Look at Mikey's beady eyes. Yeah, Louis, Mikey's kind of looking at you weird. He might eat you next. What, what do you mean he might eat me next? You're the duck hair! You you taste like KFC. I don't. I don't want him to eat me. Well then, Pip, we better get started on building that McDonald's. We gotta hurry. We only have until the sun sets to create the most amazing McDonald's ever. And if we don't, say goodbye to our houses, Pip. All right, Louie, let's get started building. All right, so first of all, we're going to have to get rid of some of these pine trees. There's a lot of them in the way, and they're all over this island. Kind of like an infestation we need to get rid of. You know, this is what they do when they make a real McDonald's. They bulldoze all all of the ground around it to make it nice and flat, just like we're doing. Yeah, Louis, I used to live on a farm, but then my farm got bulldozed and turned into a McDonald's. Wait, so this must be really traumatizing for you. I mean, we're technically just doing what happened to your home, right? Well, yeah, but Mikey said if we don't build this McDonald's, they're gonna burn my house. So either way, my house is doomed. That's actually a good point. Your farm may have gotten bulldozed, but if we don't bulldoze this ground right now, our houses are toast. All right, I think we have enough space now. Let's start building the foundation of our McDonald's. What are we going to build our McDonald's out of? Well, we're obviously going to build it out of this really cool gray concrete. Do you like how it looks? Wait, Louis, why are we building the McDonald's out of gray concrete? I thought McDonald's was red and yellow. Well, you are kind of right there, Pip. But at the same time, some McDonald's have really cool concrete floors on the inside. And if this doesn't work as a floor, maybe we could turn this into a parking lot or something. That sounds like a great idea, Louis. I mean, we could could always add a drive through later. Wait, that's genius, Pip. If we add a drive through we'll be able to get so many more customers. Not just JJ and Mikey. So let's keep building this gray concrete on the floor. And maybe if we don't like it, we can always change it to something else with some special commands. Let's keep building this out a bit more. We need to build a really big square. This restaurant has to be huge. If JJ and Mikey aren't impressed by this thing, they're going to bulldoze our houses. And they're going to destroy it all. I really, really, really want to be able to keep my house. If I can't, then uh, I think I'll cry forever. Come on, Louis. We need to build the biggest McDonald's in the world. Well, I mean, we've already built quite a big foundation. This thing is definitely going to be the biggest McDonald's in the world. Unless you know a bigger one. Well, Louis, it might be hard because I've seen McDonald's that are two and even three stories tall. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, if we want to impress JJ and Mikey, we're going to have to build this thing like four stories tall. Four stories? That's gonna take forever! No, it's not! With a bit of determination, we can finish this bill! Alright, Pip, let's get some white blocks out. I'm going to use some white concrete, some red concrete, and some yellow concrete. This is what will make our McDonald's look like a McDonald's! Let's go ahead and make it look really modern by using this white concrete. So we're going to build up these corners like this. What do you think of the height right now, Pip? Is it tall enough? Oh, Louie, we need to build the tallest McDonald's in the world. I think we need to go a couple more blocks higher. All right, well, let's go ahead. Come on. Build up a little bit more. This has to be huge, by the way. We can't afford to waste any time. Here we go. I think all of the corners are just now the same height, but this is only the foundations for this McDonald's. We need to start working on some extra things. I'm going to start working on maybe the walls, and I'll be using some quartz slabs just like this one, just to give it some extra detail on the outside, like this. That's a perfect idea, Louis. Let's start it. All right, so here we go. I've made this little quartz area that wraps around and then comes back in. And I think I'll go ahead and make a balcony on this McDonald's. I want this thing to look really cool. Well, I'm going to build it just out like this. And then I'm going to have it meet itself back in the middle like a little square. Like that. Now, this is where customers will be able to eat on the outside of the McDonald's. Have you ever eaten on a balcony on a McDonald's, Pip? I've never seen a McDonald's with a balcony, Louie. I don't even think that 
doesn't exist. Well, neither do I, Pip. I don't think I've ever seen something so unique. Let's just keep building it right now. I think we can get rid of this corner and build it up like a little L shape. Let's just connect all of these foundations together so we know where our walls are going. Just like this. I'm also going to connect up these areas here just to make it look a little bit better. We need this to look really impressive. And I think that is a really good shape for our McDonald's. We need to just add a few more things. Maybe we should build up the walls to make this thing look actually like a McDonald's right now. Uh, maybe we should stop building it up out of red concrete? What do you think, Pip? I think red concrete is great, but all this McDonald's talk is getting me so hungry, Louie. Oh, me too. Maybe if we build this fast enough, we'll be able to make ourselves a meal before Mikey and JJ. That sounds like a great idea. Let's build. All right, so I'm going to build some gray concrete across like this. I need to make sure that it looks extremely cool. As you know, some McDonald's have these gray walls on them. They look kind of depressing, but they always make up for it by having really tasty food. We can always make this thing look even better by adding some modern looking quartz slabs around the outside. This will make it look extra cool. And I can build up some space like this and then have it wrap back around. This way, it kind of looks like a really cool grill shape. I'll make a few of these, actually. This looks really cool so far. Uh, Pip, what are you doing with the wall so far? Uh, have you built it? Yep, Louie. I'm just finishing up this wall. I can see it right now, Pip. You built really, really well when you're hungry. Oh, yeah. Are you sure I shouldn't make you hungry all the time? Like, I should just starve you before our build challenges. Then you'll be really good. That's mean, Louie. But you can do that if you're feeding me McDonald's. Oh, well, yes. I'm feeding you McDonald's at the end of this video anyways. So, here we go. It looks like we finished our details. And, whoa! Look how cool that looks. But now, I've got an idea. We can build up these walls right here. I'll build up these white slabs over here. And then we'll build this one here. This is where the balcony is, really. So, if we get some red stained glass like this, we should be able to break a little hole in this wall right here and then fill it in. What do you think of this, Pip? Oh, Louie, this is so cool. I can see the island so well. Yep. Louie, it does look kind of good, but I feel like it's missing something. This color just isn't right. I think it's better with yellow. Wait, actually, that kind of looks like the McDonald's colors, and I just realized, Pip, you're yellow, and I'm red. We look just like a McDonald's. And look at this, Pip. If I get rid of these glass panes here and fill them in with red, look at what I made. I made the McDonald's logo on the front. Whoa, Louie, this is so awesome. This is like the perfect build challenge for us. I know. There's no way Mikey and JJ are going to blow up our houses. They will never be able to think this is the worst McDonald's they've ever seen. But now we finished that one wall. We need to start working on a few more walls right here. This might take a while. Louie, it won't take long with the power of friendship and hunger. All right, Pip, come on. Let's start building this bottom floor. And I think we should build it out of this light gray concrete like we did with the wall just up there. Sounds good, Louie. I'm working on it right now. All right, sounds good, Pip. And while you do that, I'll get working on some windows. I think I want these windows to be really big and spacious. I think I'll fill in like half of the walls with these windows just so that the customers have a lot of light coming into the restaurant. Just like that. That is an amazing wall right there. And I'll also do it on the other side here. And I'll do some smaller windows just for some customers who maybe want to sit and just chill by themselves. Just like me. I like to sit at the window and look out pondering life in my McDonald's. Um, Louie, you only do that because you're lonely. Oh, listen, I'll get a girlfriend one day. Just you wait and see. Oh, don't lie to me, Louie. Oh, listen, Pip, I will. One day you'll see. I'll have a really, really loving girlfriend and she will want me all the time and she will give me cookies and she will give me kisses and everything. Louie, stop all right, fine! I just finished all of the windows on the side, and this is looking kind of strange. Maybe we should section this off with some quartz like this. Louie, you're right. This is looking kind of strange. All of the glass is red. We need more yellow glass. Well, I guess we can do that. One side can be red, and one side can be yellow. How about that? Or maybe all of the glass in the middle can be yellow. That sounds like a good idea. All right, let's do it. I'm going to get rid of some of that quartz, and then fill it in with a yellow 
yellow window. But now, Pip, we need to add some quartz slabs as a roof like this just to make our McDonald's feel like a McDonald's. I'm also going to fill in our little sections off like this with some white concrete. This means for different areas, we can build different things. So for instance, this will be the entrance for our McDonald's. We can walk straight in and order our food. And then maybe over there could be the seating area and the cash register. And then over here can be the drive through It'll be amazing. So let's go ahead and just section off these roof areas like this so that we can split up our McDonald's into different pieces. Oh, Louie, I want this McDonald's to have an arcade. An arcade? Uh, I don't think McDonald's does that anymore, Pip. Why not? Um, well, I just don't think it's something they do anymore. I mean, they used to, but they stopped doing arcades a long time ago. They just put iPads on tables nowadays. I mean, uh, iPads are good too, but not as good as arcades. I guess if we're going to make this the best McDonald's in the world, we better add an arcade because that's something they really shouldn't have gotten rid of. Anyways, I'm going to get this area right here and I'm going to build a big red support beam coming down because there's no way our McDonald's is going to be able to hold itself up with all of that weight on the top. Yeah, Louie, this McDonald's is going to be really heavy when you step inside because you're so big. What do you mean? I'm, I'm really skinny. Look at me. Look, 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 look at this. Louie, don't lie to me. You're nearly three blocks wide. What? No, I'm not. All right, place those blocks next to me. I need to check. See, look, I'm not three blocks wide, but wait, give me a McDonald's burger really quickly. Look at this, Pip. If I eat this cheeseburger, look how big I get. Are you ready? Let's see it, All Louis. right, I'm eating the cheeseburger. <laughs> um, Pip, I don't know about you, but I think that burger had something crazy in it. I'm technically three blocks wide now. Oh, Louis, this is why you should never eat cheeseburgers. You should eat green beans and carrots instead. Ew, I'll never eat vegetables. You know what? I'm going to walk into the McDonald's and buy another meal. Louis, you need to put the cheeseburgers down. Oh, fine. I'll wait for Louis to finish up his McDonald's. Oh, Pip, that meal is crazy. Louis, are you done yet? Oh. Louis! Louis, get away from me. You're a monster. You're like 20 blocks wide. We need a measure I just ate a cheeseburger. Come on. Louis, you're like seven blocks wide. You need to go to the gym. Oh, fine. All right, I'll do a lap around this McDonald's. You just build something in there that will look really cool. I'll be back, okay? Uh, uh, uh! All right, well... Fat Louie over there is running around the McDonald's. Let's go ahead and build a wall. And this area is going to be the kitchen. Oh, oh, Pip, I think it's working. I'm getting a little bit thinner. Maybe I need to do another lap. Um, yeah, Louie, I think you need to do another lap. Uh, good All luck. Right. Get out of here. I won't be a second. I'll be doing another lap now. Oh, oh. oh, my gosh. But let's go ahead and put a trap door. Because how are the employees supposed to get into the kitchen without an entrance? Oh, Pip, I've done another lap. Well, how am I looking? Looking. Am I looking a little better this time? Um, you're, you're looking better, Louie, but you're not back to your peak form. Oh, you think one more lap will do it? I think one more lap and you should be good. <sighs> Fine, I hate exercising. But let's go ahead and put down the kitchen tiles so people know this is the kitchen. And you can't have the kitchen looking ugly, so we need to have these little checkered tiles all around the floor. Pip, I think I exercise too much. I think I exercise too much. Louie, are you done? Wait, Louie! Um, I got two skinny. I think you need to eat another burger, Louie. Maybe you'll be back to normal. All right, can you pass me another burger? I, I really think I need one. Yeah, I can pass you one. Don't worry. Oh, thank you, Pip. Uh, All right, let me eat this thing. <laughs> Wait, I think it worked. I grew. The real Louie's back. Hey, are you saying I'm not real because I was fat? That's kind of weird of you. Um. Anyways, Louie, I was working on the kitchen while you were gone. Whoa, this is looking kind of cool, but what kind of McDonald's lets you see into the kitchen while you're sitting. Oh, well, all of them do, right? Oh, yeah, actually, some of them actually have the cash register right next to the kitchen. So how about we do that right now? Let's do a cash register going across. And, hmm, I don't know about the gray cash register. Maybe we should make it look cooler with a nice yellow cash register. Yellow! All right, so we have a little area going into the kitchen, but I'm going to have it so you can walk straight from the kitchen to the cash registers. This makes it so it's got a really open plan. That's a good idea, Louie. Why didn't I think of that? Well, that's because you're a noob, Pip. But we're working together, so no one is the noob today. We're all pros? Yeah, I think you're slowly becoming a pro. Just look at what we've built already. Oh my gosh, this is such a pro McDonald's. I know, right? But you were working on this kitchen, so now we gotta finish it. I'm going to fill in...
fill in some gaps on the top here with this white concrete. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make this place look really decorated. I'll add some of these fences in that really outlines the kitchen. This way, it looks like a really funny looking kitchen. Oh, Louis, I'm so glad we can see into the kitchen. We can make sure the McDonald's chefs are not cooking ducks because that would be me. Yeah, I guess so, Pip. And also at the same time, whilst we're cooking our meals, we can see whether Mikey and JJ are enjoying our McDonald's. That's a great idea, Louie. I hope they love McDonald's. They probably will, but what if they don't? We need to make sure our food is extra good and also extra safe. We can't have our food going moldy and bad or else they won't like it. You're right, Louie. We need to make sure we poop and pee in the McDonald's. Did you just say poop and pee in the McDonald's? Yep, to make it as tasty as whoa, possible. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not peeing and pooing in the food. We need a bathroom for that. And I think we'll build that after oh. we've done with this cash register and kitchen. I mean, that's what the chefs did to my food at McDonald's. Um, I don't think those chefs liked you very much, Pip. No one pees or poops in food unless they don't like you. Oh. All right, anyways, so I'm going to go into my creative menu, and I'm going to get a furnace, a blast furnace oven right here. I'll get the black ovens. They're really cool. I'm going to get a water bucket and a cauldron, and this will look like a deep fryer machine. Watch this, Pip. I'm going to put some furnaces here for the food to be cooked, and then right here, I'm going to put some deep fryers. What do you think? This is so good, Louis. Yep, they can throw all of the potatoes in there, and they'll come out as fries. So I've got a good idea. Let's get an item frame. Let's put on top what will come out of each of these ovens. So we'll put an actual oven in the middle here, and this is where all the chicken will be served, or maybe duck if uh, we're not careful. So I'm going to go ahead and get some cooked chicken, and that's what's going to come out of the oven. Well, Louis, I have an idea. Instead of water in the oven, what if we put lava? Oh, whoa, whoa, oh whoa, no! Whoa, whoa, no! No! Pip, no! Oh my god! That's not what I meant! That's not what I meant! Um, that doesn't work anymore, Pip. We have to have water, and don't worry, it's heated to a very high temperature. That's basically what cooking oil is. All right, as long as we're not serving raw fries. Don't worry, the fries won't come out raw, because I'm going to put a little bit of fries on the front. As you can see, this is what is going to come out of it. We're going to have some french fries. What do you think of that, Pip? Have a taste. All right, let me try these fries. All right. But first, let me make sure I'm in uniform. Um, wait and... a second. Are you a chef? Mm, mm, the, the salt? Uh, too, little bit too much salt. Too much? Mm, uh, the sauce is way too hot. I'm hard. sorry. Mm, these are wrong. These are wrong. I'm sorry, Pip. I'm sorry. I'll do better the next time. I'll do better. You know what, guys? Just so that I don't mess up Pip's order again, I'll put a sign saying, do not overcook the fries. There we go. That should be just fine. Pip, please don't do that again. That was scary. I mean, other than that, the fries were okay. Okay. Well, do you think it'll be good enough for JJ and Mikey? You know, it'll probably be good enough for JJ and Mikey, but for me, it's disgusting. Oh, Pip, you're scaring me. Take that outfit off. All right, so now we've got the deep fryers, the oven, and these furnaces. We need to finish up the look of this kitchen. It looks a little bit too spacious. There's not enough going on, and I have a good idea on what we can do. Let's get some of these counters. This way, we can have a nice big kitchen island in the middle. Uh, that's not the right one. I need another countertop. What do you say we put a red countertop with a bit of yellow on the other side? That's great. This way, we can cook food in the middle and even test it out and see if it tastes good or not. Now, I'm going to get some item frames, and I'm going to put a ton of different types of food on here, including our french fries, our chicken, and what else do we do? I think we do chicken nuggets, right? Let's see if we can get some chicken nuggets. Oh, we can also have some fried chicken too. That looks pretty good. I'll also make sure that we have plenty of plates so that we can serve our meals. They're going to be ready just on the side of the kitchen. And Louie, I'll even add a ketchup bottle Whoa. in case they want ketchup with their fries. Wait, that's really cool looking. It actually looks like a ketchup bottle. I wonder if we can find mayonnaise. I'm also going to go ahead and get some of these. I can put some cheeseburgers on the side. And this is what we can feed to JJ and Mikey. I'll also put a pizza on the side. Because did you know McDonald's used to sell pizzas? Louis, this pizza and cheeseburger look so yummy. C can I have a bite? Oh, uh, I guess you can. But don't go serving it to a customer afterwards. You have to finish it. Come on, just one bite. It won't be too bad. Look at I Pip, you ate the whole thing. Uh, Louis, it was only one bite. I, I was really hungry. Oh, Louis, I I feel a little bit weird. Wait, what do you mean? Oh my gosh, Pip! Oh, 
Doing? You just turned huge. Uh, you know what? I think you need to go for a run now. Go on. Go work out. Go Please work out. help. I can't get out of here. You can't fit for the wall. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this, Pip. All right. Go on, Pip. Please, I'll be back. All right. I'll go fix all of this stuff you just ruined. Get the trap doors as well. Oh, running is so hard. All right. Just go for a run, Pip. I'll work on a bit of this McDonald's while you're gone. And I think I'll get done with this cash register. We need to get some stairs. This way, it'll look like a cash machine. All right, all a few right. more. And, wait, Pip, I think your exercise is, is working. It, is it working, Louie? I think so. I mean, you got a little bit skinnier, but JJ and Mikey are watching. Just don't let them see. They'll know we're eating food. Oh, that wouldn't be very good. All right, go on, Pip, go on. Just do another lap. Do another lap. All right, all right. Just, just one more. All right, go ahead. There we go, guys. I've done some cash registers around this thing, and I think I'll get some item frames as well. Oh, maybe some trap doors. I could make a really cool design. Let's just do this and this and this and that. And now if I place enough trap doors, you'll see they start to look like cash registers. I'm also going to put some screens on them as well so that I could see what's going on when I'm sorting out someone's order. Do I look all right now? I did two laps around the huge McDonald's. Um, I mean, I guess you look okay, but something looks off. Are you still... Yeah, Pip, you're still huge. Look. Am I? I thought I burned it all off. Oh my gosh, I gotta do another lap. A burger is so bad for you. Go for another lap, Pip. While you're at it, I think I might actually fix the door because I think people who are coming into our McDonald's are not going to be that huge. All right, let's go ahead and add some glass windows on the side like this. And these will be our sliding doors. There we go. All right, Lily, I think I've burned all the body fat uh, off. Hello? Pip, uh, are you here? Where are uh, you? Louie, I'm, I'm right here. T turn around. Where? Where are you? Wait, is that L you? Yeah, Louie, I, I think I burned off all the fat. Pip, you are so skinny. I think you burned off a little bit too much. But listen, here. Just eat some of these seeds and you'll be fine, okay? Did that burger make my butt look big? Uh, I, I can't really see your butt right now, Pip. You're so skinny. It's uh, it's unbelievable. Come on, let me just eat some of these seeds. <laughs> Pip, it worked! I'm back to normal! And there we go! You're now back to normal, but we still have so much more to do! We need to make a McDonald's menu across from here. We need to get some signs. Do you want to help me write on this back wall, Pip? We can make a really cool menu. Sure, Louie. I'm so excited to work. I'm not hungry anymore. All right, so I'll get some blank paintings, and I'll also get this thing called a palette. This way, we can do some paintings together, and we can make a nice big menu. So I'm going to place one of them right here. And this is going to be for the burgers. Do you want to make one for the drinks? Oh, boy, do I. All right, let me place a painting down for you there. And just get drawing, Pip. Let's go. All right, so what I'm going to do is fill in this canvas with a bunch of black like this. This way, I can start with a clean canvas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture of some chicken nuggets. And I'll do three of them like this. That is the first meal you can have at the McDonald's. And I think I'll split it up into four pieces. Just so there's four different meals you can have. So we'll do chicken nuggets and I'll add a nice white outline to it to make it look better. Did you know that's what they do to all of the pictures of McDonald's when they put it on the menu? They go crazy and have people who make the food look as good as possible so you'll buy it. Oh yeah, Louie. And they do a really good job. I want to buy those burgers all the time. Yeah, to be fair, me too, Pip. They do a really good job making those things look as good as possible. But now I'm putting a pepperoni pizza on here. I'm going to make a nice big pepperoni slice. There we go. But what could we sell next? Wait, I've got an idea. I'll get some colors together and see if you guys can guess what I'm making. I just need some brown like this. And I think I should be good to go. So I'll do two shapes just like this. Let's see if you can guess what it is right now. If you already know what it is, comment down below. Now I just need to do this little shape in the middle. And then I need to put some red on it like this. Then I need to put some yellow. Then I need to do some pickles. So did you guys guess what it was? If you didn't, it's a bird. Burger! But now it's time for my last food item. Let me get some inspiration from the kitchen. Oh yeah, I completely forgot McDonald's does fries. Let's go back here and add some fries to the menu. I need to make sure they're nice and big so they look really appetizing. I'll surround them with a really cool brown color and this makes them look like real french fries. And there we go. I've done a ton of french fries at the bottom here. This menu looks amazing. All right, Louie. I think I'm all done with my menu. Wait, what are these? 
these are the drink items, right? Yep, Louis. These are just your typical McDonald's drink. First, we've got the water. Okay. You know, everyone loves water. Uh -huh. Soda. Soda? You know, soda. Nice. Yep. Pee, uh, poop, you know, just your normal McDonald's drink. Did you just say pee and poop? Uh, we, we can't be serving JJ and Mikey pee and poop. Well, uh, if they don't want pee or poop, they can always get water or soda. Uh, I guess at least you're giving them the option. I guess I'll let it slide for now. We need to keep working on our McDonald's. We need to get this seating area done. Let's add some chairs right now. Come on. So let's get a ton of these red ones, and we'll also get these little seats like this. I'll give you some yellow ones to place around. Also, at the same time, we're going to need to place a ton of tables. So let's get those down. I'm going to place a ton of small tables right next to the window. And this is where people will sit if they want to be on their own. Most of the time, the people who sit at the windows like to be on laptops. So I'm going to give them some outlets so that they can charge their laptops or phones whenever they want. Well, that's a really smart idea, Louie. Thank you very much, Pip. I like to make sure that my McDonald's is going to look really good for the customers. But now we need some more seats. Where do you think we should put them? Them. Because first of all, we need enough space for people to order their food. So we can't be in front of this yellow line. We should add some tables maybe in the middle here. Like this. And make sure to put a ton of seats around them. This way, our customers can sit on as many tables as they want. I'm also going to add a table that you are making just then. I'm going to add a little bit of a longer seat. And then you can place some yellow ones on the opposite side. Like this. And boom! This thing is looking amazing. Look at this huge seat we just added. But now... Now we're finished with the dining area downstairs. I think it's time to take a good look at our McDonald's and see what we're doing right. All right, we've done the first floor, but we need to do a second floor. What should we put up there? Hmm, well, it's not a McDonald's without a play place. Maybe we should build a play place. Listen up, Pip. I've got a really good idea. Watch this. I said I would use some admin commands, and I'm going to do it. All right, watch this. I'm going to get an axe, go over here and over here, and then I'm going to use this command. Command to set it all to gray concrete. Wait, how did you do that, Louis? Well, are you using magic? Uh, well, yeah, Pip. That's pretty much what admin commands are. They're kind of just like magic. So I'm going to just fill in all of this area here so that we have all of the space around our McDonald's to build. And as you can see, we have a huge foundation. We could actually start working on maybe some parking. Let's do that. I guess we can do that, Louis. It'll work. All right. Let's make some parking places and we'll build them out of this yellow concrete like this. Make sure to give them really big space because as you know, cars are really big. All right, Louis, I'm building the last parking spot right now. All right, Pip, that is perfect. We have a ton of parking, but I think we should add a little wall to our McDonald's. This is so that cars will have to drive in and park in our parking lot, and it will feel a lot more safe. So I'll do this command to set the walls to stone bricks, like this. Louise. Stone bricks are kind of boring. Maybe we should use yellow concrete instead. Mm, I guess that is a pretty good idea, but what if we use both? Let's use yellow concrete and let's use red concrete. Look at that. That's so cool. This is the best McDonald's ever. And we need to make sure there's plenty of space for cars to drive in. And also, we need to make sure JJ and Mikey can see it. Let's place some more parking in this McDonald's so that we can fit as many customers as possible. Let's place some parking spots on the other side side as well. Just like this. This is going to be awesome. We're going to have the capacity to hold maybe about three or four or maybe seven more customers. JJ and Mikey won't be the only ones eating. Oh, the more customers, the better. All right, Pip. And now we're on this side. Maybe this is where our drive through should be. So let's make a big drive through window on the side like this. I'm going to go ahead and make a little balcony. This is where the cars can come through the drive through and not get wet because I'm going to keep them underneath a little balcony like this. All right, Louis, this is looking good, but let me help by bulldozing this tree in the corner, and it's kind of boring, so let's just get rid of this. All right, good move, Pip. That would have been catastrophic if someone came for our drive through and hit the tree, but as you can see, our drive through is coming along really nicely. Let's go ahead and add some walls so the cars know where to go. I think I'll make it out of this red sandstone wall. This looks very McDonald's-like, and this is the direction that the cars will go through to get their meal. We'll also make sure that it turns at the end. So the cars turn around the corner too. And then the cars should be able to leave through this area right here. This is where they will go back to wherever they came from to eat their food. I'm also going to...
going to set some white concrete too, just so that we have some lines in the middle of the road, like this. Uh, this way, the cars are going to know which direction to come to, and then where to order from. I'm going to make sure to put a cash register there as well, so that I can take their orders when they come through. And then, I'm also going to add a really cool looking roof to this thing. I want to make sure that it slants upwards and looks really modern. So, I'll go ahead and do that. This drive through is going to look super cool, and I'm going to make a little repeating pattern like this. And this is what the roof is going to look like. It's going to have that really cool stripey pattern. And it's also going to be sectioned off like this so that it doesn't get in the way. And I'll make sure to add a wall here because we can't have a window going into a roof. It just doesn't look right. I'm also going to go ahead and add some stripes around here. Hey, Louie, look what I'm adding. I'm filling up our parking lot with a bunch of cars. <laughs> I don't know about this, Pip. They seem to be the wrong direction, especially this smart car. Let me put it the right way. Oh, there we go. This looks so cool, though. We have a bunch of little motorcycles. Someone came in a go-kart. We have a mini bus, and we have this tiny little smart car. Look at this. Yep, and when JJ and Mikey see all the cars in the parking lot, they're gonna think our McDonald's is packed with people. I can understand that, Pim. I'm really excited to see what they think of this McDonald's. I hope they don't blow our houses up. But anyways, Pim, we've built our bottom floor, but and we've added our cars and our parking lots and our drive through but we still haven't done the top floors. Maybe we should get started on this. Let's do some white blocks around the wall like this. Come on. You're right, Louis. We can't have JJ and Mikey singing McDonald's. That's only one floor. I know. We need to blow their socks off by making this McDonald's look absolutely insane. And that way, JJ and Mikey will be very happy customers. And they might come again. As you can see, we're almost done with these two walls, but we still have two more to go. I'm almost done with the first one. It's very, very white. It's almost blinding. Maybe we should add some red. I don't know. It's looking a little too white for me. Yeah, Louis. We should probably add red as the top color of the roof. All right. Sounds good, Pip. Let's make it go around the outside like this so that it's 3D and sticks out. This way, we can add some more details when we need it. I'll just fill it in all the way until there. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Whoa, Pip, you've already done it. Maybe we should just keep going around, though, like this. This way, it'll look pretty nice. What do you think so far? Louis, this is amazing, but I feel like it needs more yellow. Where can we put yellow at? Well, Pip, I have an idea. If we make a little bit of a red area in the middle right here, just follow my lead, let's make it around this thick, like this. We just need to fill in all of this area with red, like this. Do you know what I'm doing yet? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, Louis. What are you doing? All right, now that we've filled in all of this red, let's just finish this off. We have all all of the space we need to add a bit of yellow, wouldn't you say? The giant McDonald's logo! Yep, we've added the M to our McDonald's! Now this thing is really looking like the best McDonald's ever! Oh my gosh, Louis, just looking at this is making me so hungry! I know, Pip, but how about I make our customers hungrier by adding a really cool thing here? As you can see, I'm going to break the wall into our McDonald's here. I'm going to add some windows as well, just in the middle of the McDonald's M. This way, we can have a window our customers can look out of while eating. And the best part is, it's in the McDonald's M. Like, that's so cool. That's so cool, Louis. I know. Maybe we should add some more seats up there. Or maybe we should use all of this space in here to add the play place. The biggest play place in the world. Yeah, we just need to make sure to add some stairs going up to the top of this McDonald's. This way, we can actually get up to the top floors. I think I might add it. Let's add a ladder instead. I think a staircase would block the door, and we do not want that. JJ and Mikey would not be impressed. So I'll use these white blocks. I'll also get some of these ladders and fill them in, going all the way up. This way, we can climb up to the play place right up here. Yep, and force the customers to get some exercises. Oh, yeah! Let's just go ahead and make the roof right here. This should be pretty good. We'll fill in this roof all the way. Maybe we should build it out of red or yellow. I don't know. Or both. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's put a bunch of yellow in for this roof and then build some really cool stuff in the play place underneath. And we are done. We built the yellow roof just like this. But now we have to build our play place down here. Follow me, Pip. All right. So what do you usually see in a play place? How about you give me some ideas? It's got slides 
and stuff. I know, Pip. And did you know they also have things like ball pits and little crawly places and arcade machines and climbing frames? Even this. This is something I don't think you've ever seen in a McDonald's. Look at this. Wait, Louie, what are you adding into this McDonald's? A swimming pool. I love swimming pools. Yep, and I'm also about to build a climbing frame. Let's just build up with some yellow like this. It needs to be around two blocks wide, and it needs to go over in an M shape like this, or just an N shape. Now, let's get some of these end rods, and we can make this look just like a really cool climbing frame. If we go around like this and add them to the top, as you can see, we've added the climbing frames where you hold with your hands. Whoa, this is so epic, Louis, but I, I, I kind of suck at this. I know, you're terrible at climbing the climbing frame, but I think you're going to enjoy the next thing I'm about to build even better. Is it the ball pit? I love ball pits. I know you do, Pip, but sadly, we're not building a ball pit. I'm getting the things right now to build something epic. I just need something called a bearing, a mechanical bearing, and you've probably seen it before. But if I put this over here with these cogwheels on top, I can make some really cool devices. You know something, Pip? Not everything has to be in here. We could put something in the play place outside too. How about you follow me and I'll show you what I'm going to build. What are you making, Louis? All right, I'm going to make some space in the ground like this. And you're going to see exactly what this is in a second. I'm going to place a clutch like this, a cogwheel, another cogwheel on the top, and then a mechanical bearing. You're gonna love this, Pip. Now, I'll get some glue out of my inventory, and I will put it in my offhand. Then, I'll place some yellow concrete on top, and stick some glue to the sides like this. But what is this, Louis? It just looks like an addition sign. An addition sign, indeed. But take a look at this, Pip. I'm going to put some seats on it as well, just like this. And now, if I press a nice little lever, I should be able to get it is to... Is this Hungry Hungry Hippo? This is not Hungry Hungry Hippo, Pip. Just watch, okay? I'm going to switch this device on now. Woohoo! Whee! Yep, isn't it epic? It spins around in circles, and it's really cool looking. And all I have to do is just cover it up in the ground now. Why did it stop, we're good Louis? to go. Keep going, keep going. All right, fine. Let me just get some redstone really quick. I can make this device work a little better. Let me just put some redstone down there, and a lever to turn it on and off. What do you think, Pip? Oh, Louie, this is so fun. I know. But I think I need to get off. I think I need to get off, Louie. Oh. Help. Get off it, get off it. Oh, Pip just threw off. Up, guys, this is really, really bad. Um, maybe I should make this rotate a little slower. That would make Pip not feel as ill. Let's just turn the speed down on that thing. Oh, there we go, Pip. That's a lot more your speed. I didn't know we would add a theme park at the McDonald's. Well, Pip, isn't it fun, though? I'm pretty sure if anybody comes to this McDonald's, they won't want to leave because they'll have so much fun right here. They'll want to play and play and play, and then they'll want to buy more burgers. But anyways, Pip, now that we've done that device, Let's just section off some little walls like this. This is where we're going to have some upstairs seating. And we're going to host the craziest parties here. Let's just make our walls. I love parties. I know you do, Pip. This is why we're building this right now. Let's make sure we've got some space so that people can get into the play area upstairs. And I'll also add some glass, too. Let's just grab that. Oh, Louie, this is going to be more fun than Chuck E. Cheese. I know it is. Chuck E. Cheese is terrible. Did you know they take slices out of your pizza? Oh, Louie, I don't believe you. They would never do that to my pizza. Um, yeah, they probably do, and they probably pee on it, too. Uh, anyways. Well, I don't mind that part. Um, okay, that's kind of weird of you to say, Pip. But anyways, we've got all of this space up here. Let's also put some big glass windows here so everyone can see inside of the play area. Just like this. Did you know at the end of this video, we're going to be showing JJ and Mikey around this McDonald's, and they're gonna rate it 1 out of 10? They better rate it a 10 out of 10, Louis. Oh, yeah, they will. And if you guys think this McDonald's is really good at the end of the video, feel free to rate it yourself. Please rate us 10 out of 10. I better see 10 out of 10 in the comments. Yep. All right, Pip. We've got all of this space up here now, but I think we need to add some seats. And for this, I'm going to grab a huge table. And this is going to be a table for the birthdays. Let's make this table extremely long and add tons of seats to it. You add some yellow seats and I'll add some red seats. Let's just put a ton of them around here like this. Good job. Jump, Pip. You just managed to put all of these chairs down, but make sure they're spaced out. People don't want their butts rubbing together. But what if I want my butt rubbing 
against yours, Louis. Oh, uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, why do you keep saying things like this, Pip? It's so strange. But anyways, come on up. We're going up one more floor. And we should put all of the most important stuff a McDonald's needs up here. And welcome to the final floor of this McDonald's, Pip. Do you know what we're going to build up here? Uh, no, Louis. What are we going to add up here? An arcade? Well, let me show you. If I set the roof into red concrete, this is going to be where all of the most important things a McDonald's needs will be. Well, what are the most important things? Well. And on my bucket list, the number one thing is an arcade. Well, we are going to need a freezer to keep all of our food. We're going to need a storage room and some bathrooms. Well, those are boring, but we do need those. How about this, Pip? I'm going to add a bunch of storage rooms and and a freezer and a bathroom and you're going to be in charge of building the arcade okay that sounds awesome so i'll build the bathroom and i'll build the storage area and all of the other stuff in these areas right here the arcade will be this massive room i want to see it finished by the time i'm done oh it'll be the coolest arcade you've ever seen Louis. all right well let's see what happens i'm going to place in a bunch of these red blocks like this and this way we could get started on making the walls look really cool all right pip I'm going to block you off in this room right here. And when I come back in, this arcade better be insane. Oh, don't worry, Louie. All right, Pip. Goodbye. You're going in the other room. There you go. All right, guys. But now it's time to add all the things this McDonald's needs. And I'm going to build a big room right here. And I'm also going to put some really tall doors. Because this is going to be the storage room where all of the food is kept before it's cooked. I'm also going to get a ton of these crates. And this is where all of the deliveries are going to be. It's going to be placed in the back in all of these crates. This is where all of the burgers are in a real McDonald's. I'll also place a bunch of these spruce crates all around, just like that. I'll add a ton of these crates also stacked up against the walls too. This way, it's nice and neat and organized. I'm also going to add some chests in too, just for some extra storage. That is an amazing storage room. Now it's just time to wall it off and we're good to store. But now I need a freezer and a bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and split this area off into two. One of these areas are going to be a toilet and one of these areas are going to be a freezer where all of the raw food is kept. This will mean that the food won't go moldy and nasty and will be able to eat in peace without getting sick. I'm going to make sure that the bathroom is on the right-hand side over here and it's going to have a do not disturb sign on top of it. So let me get a sign really quickly and I'll get one of these doors that you cannot see through just like this. Then I'll place a sign saying do not disturb toilets in progress. But now it's time to build the freezer room. So for the front of this, I'll be building this out of iron blocks because iron blocks are metal and metal is really good at holding the cold in. I'll go ahead and place an iron door on the front and the only way you can get in and out is if you use a pressure plate. This makes sure that all of the coldness stays inside. I'll also get an absolute ton of ice too. And I'll decorate this place with really cool ice blocks. This means it's going to be really, really chilly. And and this is where all of the ice for your sodas are going to be. This room is the most important in a McDonald's because without it, they wouldn't be able to put ice in your drinks and they wouldn't be very cold, which would make them really warm and not very nice to drink. But there we go. We have a freezer, a toilet, and a storage room. And I just realized I forgot to add details to the toilet. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to get one of these modern looking toilets and I'm going to place it on the wall. Then I'm going to get one of these sinks and I'm going to place it in the middle with a counter. This means that once you're done, you can wash your hands. I'll also go ahead and get a really big mirror. This way, you can see everything inside. And just in case the customers get bored whilst they're in the bathroom, I'll add a ton of paintings around and also some of these plant pots to make it seem a little less boring. Let's add some really cool paintings around, like this painting right here of this guy doing a karate chop. I'll also put some more paintings on the other side too. These are some really entertaining looking paintings. I also think I'm going to add a carpet as well. This red carpet going all the way to the toilet will do. It'll make whoever comes to the toilet feel like they're part of royalty. And I'll also put some yellow carpets around the outside too. This looks amazing. This is a really cool bathroom. But now it's time to see what Hip has been working on for so long. We need to make an entrance to this arcade. And I think through this wall is a perfect idea. All right, Pip. What have you been working on? And Whoa, this looks awesome. Welcome to the arcade. There's no way you just built this. It looks awesome. You have all of these TVs with all of these really cool control panels and Nintendo Switches everywhere and Spider-Man suits. 
I told you this would be the coolest arcade in the world. I have to admit, you've done a really good job. Louis, now that I've shown you my arcade, what have you been doing? Well, come and take a look. We have a freezer room over here where all of the ice cubes are made. What do you think? Oh, it's so chilly in here. We need to get out of here. It's so cold. All right. Well, how about you go into the bathroom? This is one of the nicest rooms in this upstairs. Do not disturb. Toilet in progress? Yes, yeah, that's what oh. it says. Let's go in. All right, follow me inside and take a look at this. You can go uh, poopies and peepees whenever you want. You can walk on this red carpet. Who is that in the mirror? Oh, no. I shouldn't have put a mirror in here. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, mm -hmm. I Pip. love McDonald's. Pip, stop kissing yourself in the mirror. Ew. Oh, that was so awesome. But, Louie, I feel like this bathroom is missing something. What is it missing, Pip? Explain it to me. It's missing what every bathroom has. I can't believe you forgot uh it. What did I forget? There's no way I forgot something. Well, first of all, you forgot the shower uh, and you forgot the bathtub. Oh, wait, a shower and a bathtub in a McDonald's? Are you sure that's even a thing? Well, you gotta get clean somehow, Lee. Well, I mean, I guess you've gotta take your bird baths. Let me see if I can get in this bath. And, oh, it's actually kind of relaxing. Yeah, I told you having a bird bath would be great, Louie. I'm feeling so relaxed right now. It's almost unreal. I've never had a bath in a McDonald's. But anyways, Pip, now we've done all this. Follow me. I have one last idea for this place. Just come all the way down the ladders and come all the way outside to where this spinning machine is. Wait, why are we out here? Lee? Well, I'm going to make something that's always been underneath this concrete all this time. Do you see what this is? Yeah, it, it's saying, Louie, are we gonna make a sand castle or something? Oh, yes, we are. Look at this. If I get some sandstone walls and I place them in a circle, it looks just like a sand castle. This is so cool. Cool, Louis. I think you can also put buttons on the top. I'm also going to put some stones around as well. Just so that I can use some to dig further down in the sand. I used to love digging in the sand. Yeah, Louie. The buttons even kind of look like rocks. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. But anyways, Pip, I think we just got done just in time. Because look, the sun is going down. Oh, we finished at the perfect time. All right, Mikey, JJ, it's time for you guys to eat. Follow us. All right, JJ, follow me. I think Mikey... Mikey's following you, Pip, so let's go inside and show them around. All right, Louie, draw them into McDonald's, but they're looking kind of angry. They might be really hungry. All right, Pip, well, I think it's time that we start making some food. Come on, let's get into the kitchen and get started. All right, JJ, you wait out here. I'm going to bring you a really awesome meal, okay? Come on, Pip, get in the kitchen. We have to start cooking. Let's get it. All right, Pip, let's get our chef outfits on. It's time for us to do some cooking. All right, so what do you think JJ would like to eat. Seems like the kind of guy to like fried chicken. Definitely, Louie. Alright, and what about Mikey? Mikey kind of looks like they would like maybe a burger or, um, something vegetarian. Maybe like well, fries. No, no, I think Mikey probably wants seeds with a side of peas. Well, Pip, how about you whip that up in the oven and I'll really quickly get some fried chicken and stuff for JJ. Alright, here we go. Wait, I have to take his order first. We can't be doing anything without taking his order. Alright, JJ, what do you want? Alright, um, Pip, uh, JJ's not saying anything, so I'm pretty sure he just wants me to give him whatever, as long as it's food. All right, look at him. He's watching us cook, and whoa, JJ, you can't be in the kitchen. It's unsafe, and it's, uh, not very clean. But anyways, let's get some fries together, and let's get some cooked chicken. Let's see if JJ likes this. Uh, here you go, buddy. I hope you like it. Whoa, look! JJ just picked up the fried chicken and the fries. Oh, go ahead, JJ, eat it. Tell us if you like it, please. We hope you enjoy it, JJ. Oh, please, just tell us if you liked it or not. Wait a second. And look, Pip, JJ's dancing. He's really happy. I think that means he's enjoying All it. All right, but Mikey's still over there looking really angry as per usual. You need to cook something up right now. Come on, give it to Mikey. All right, I've got Mikey's food. Ready. I've got the key, and I've got the cooked seed. Okay. Well, is that it? We should feed him now. Let's feed him it. Let's see if he likes All it. All right. Come on, Mikey. Here's your main meal, and here's your drink. All right, Mikey. You've got it in your hands. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Come on, Mikey. I hope you enjoy it. Wait, he, he ate it. it. Huh? D did you enjoy it? <laughs> um, Pip, I don't know about you, but I think Mikey just died or something. Oh, no, Louie. 
think the pee might have poisoned no, him. No, no, no. Uh, do we have any first aid kids? Maybe give him some ketchup. He might like it. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, Pip, get some proper food. Get a burger as well. Stat. Mikey, uh, take the cheeseburger, please. Just eat it. All right. I think he's eating it. Wait, he just got back up. And look, he's dancing too. He ate it. He's enjoying his meal. And now, since they're both really happy, I guess we could show them around our restaurant. So come on, JJ. Come on, Mikey. We're going to show you something really cool. Look at all of these cars out here. And also, look at this playground ride. Isn't it awesome? Isn't it awesome? Wait, I think JJ wants to give it a go. And no way. Look at this, Pip. They jumped on the thing and they're going around in circles. They're really loving it. They're loving it so much. I know, right? I'm so proud of this McDonald's. It's amazing. All right, let me see if I can speed this thing up a bit. I think they might enjoy it if I do it. All right, here we go. Let's crank up the speed a bit. And whoa, whoa. Oh, no, too fast, too fast, too fast. I don't think they're doing okay. They're spinning so fast. Maybe I should turn this machine down a little bit more, a little bit. Turn it down, turn it down. Yeah, that's about right. See, look, they're spinning around. They're so happy. Um, oh, wait a second, Pip. I think it's going too fast. Look, they're holding on. It's spinning them off. Oh, no, we don't want to hurt them. Um, maybe we should slow down this machine. They're going to throw up just like you did. Come on. Stop. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me stop this machine. Let's get you out of these chairs. Oh, we didn't mean to, guys. Oh, we're sorry. You know what, Pip? I think we should make them feel better. Look, they look really dizzy and really sick right now. Let's go get them one more burger. And then hopefully they'll leave nice and satisfied with their meals. So let's get these cheeseburgers like this. And let's fly back over to them and hand it to them. All right, guys. Look, we're really sorry about what we did. We made you spin a little too fast. Here, have some cheeseburgers, JJ. And Mikey, you can have some french fries and blueberry seeds. I know you like those. Oh, Louie, I hope this doesn't make them too fast. Oh, they won't be. They'll be okay. All right, JJ. All right, Pip. I think they ate them, but um, something's wrong. Mikey is huge, and so is JJ. Guys, stand up really quick. We need to get a better look at you. Oh, they're looking kind of big. I hope they won't have to do laps around the building. All right, Pip. They stood up and, um, I think we might have fed them a little too much. JJ is really fat, and so is Mikey. Oh, they're so fat. How are you gonna make them skinnier? Wait a second, Louis. Well, at least they're happy with their meals. They're dancing. Wait, you're right. Look, JJ is dancing, and so is Mikey. Maybe they've enjoyed their meals so much at this McDonald's that they're not going to explode our houses anymore. Let's go. But if you guys enjoyed that video and want to see us build more things like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go.